beautiful night for hockey. Let's get set to drop the puck. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabal. Start for a win, and we are set to go. The Penguins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And that's off a stick. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. Puck picked up by Hyman. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped and play resumes. Couldn't complete the pass. Quick pass across to Keith. Locking up from the point. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it to Latang. And it's poked away in the neutral zone. Nice heads up play there. The Oilers look to start the transition game. Swap up. Centering pass in front. And he's able to handle that one. Jari's on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quickly on top of it to kill the play. Carter's won a big draw on their own end. Slides the puck across to Kapanen. And serves up a little knock on the play. McDavid's got the puck. Quick feed down low. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Score! play doesn't happen without the accurate passing that has to go into the play before it ends up in the net. What a great play known for this and that's the ability to find the open player and then put the puck right on the tape. Nice dish from the left wing. Here he is in front and that one's blocked. Cuts to the front. Oh it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Uh, he's going to feel he missed one there. You don't get many chances that clean. The goalie turns it aside. Still lots of time left in the period. The Oilers lead it 1-0. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. Offside the call. We'll get a faceoff coming up. Faceoff looming as both centers get into position. The Penguins win the draw here in the neutral zone. And that's deflected. Pittsburgh's in now. Move to the middle, and they can't connect. Poked away in the offensive zone by Pedersen. And not much on that one. There's another stop. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Edmonton's got it in the offensive zone. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Sends the pass over. And no luck on that pass attempt. And now it's grabbed by Cassian. Takes the feed. And it's a quick pass to Cassian. And he takes a shot. That's blocked by Jari. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Heinen. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Rodriguez setting up against the wall. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Good hit on the play. Receives the pass. Sends it across. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Tries to feed it over to Simone. Centering pass. And they come up empty-handed. Here's a shot. Stops him with a glove. Feeds the puck across to Nugent Hopkins. Oh boy, here's trouble. Two on one. He scores! They tied it up! 
brand new game. All that work that's gone behind this, and we're back to even Steven. The good thing he one times this puck. The goalie almost gets there, but the pass is on his tape in the low slot, and he beats him clean. Well past the midway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Oilers win it. Looks to get the puck over to McDavid. Edmonton's on the attack. Still keeps a hold of it. Unloads the shot! And he makes a save on that play. The Oilers play the puck from the back of the net. Quick feed to Aston Reese. Can't connect on the pass. Things starting to get a little physical out there. The Penguins in transition at center. And that pass can't connect. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And sends it just out of reach. Shores gaining momentum. Fails to find the open man. Offside the call will get a reset. Here in the late going of the frame, it's all tied up. Pittsburgh's won the draw in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Carter. Great reach with the poke check by CC. Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. Takes a hit on the play. Quick pass to Pugliarvi. Centering pass! And he was right there! They can't connect! Easily turned aside by Chari. There's another for the hit parade. The Penguins have it now. And there's the whistle icing the call. The centermen glide into position. And that concludes the first 20 minutes of play. Second period action. Stick around. Just a reminder to always keep your eye on the puck. It can enter the seating area and cause serious injury. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. Crosby's won it. The Penguins move it in. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Turns it aside. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Taken by Hyman. But there's the goal! When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. Edmonton's finally gone in front. What's the approach now, Ray? Shouldn't change. I mean, the game's not going to spread out anyway. Even though it's a one-goal game instead of tied, it's not going to all of a sudden be a shootout, I wouldn't think. The Oilers move it ahead. Across the line from center. And he comes up with it. Keith's going to play the puck behind the cage. Nice pass. Carries it across the line and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. The Oilers will play it from the defensive zone. From the point, looks to make something happen. That pass doesn't go. Line change. And that's stopped by Smith. The Penguins, oh, brings it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. The Penguins could have used that one trailing in this game. A bad break hits the post and stays out. Edmonton's got a hold of the puck now. He's got a little jump. What a stop on the breakaway. Drives it to the crease. Oh, wow, stops him again. Pedersen's got it in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Zucker. 
Changeup! Moves around along the half wall. The Oilers slide it through center. Puck said down the ice. We'll get an icing. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Edmonton's got a one-goal lead. Rodriguez wins it in the offensive zone. Hey, maybe you can create some offense against the tired team after the icing. Feeds it up ahead. And that's knocked away. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. Moves it to Rodriguez. And now he angles it across to Simon. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And he regains control of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Heinen's moving it ahead. Skates to the crease. Monster saved by Smith. Slides it on over to Pugliarvi. Quick feed to Nurse. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Matheson. Puck scooped up by Yamamoto. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Jari. They work the puck into a scoring spot. Get a pretty good chance on goal. They just can't find a way to finish it off. Yamamoto's got it along the wing. Can't connect. Here's a short pass to Bluger. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Slides it across. And that's picked off in front. And now he tries to get it across to Perlini. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. There's a hit on the play. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Keith. And that's offside stopping the play. Here in the late goings of the period, the Oilers are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Pittsburgh's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. And they cough it up at center. Intercepts it at center. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Slides it down, oh. leap to Gensel. Oh, sorry about your toes, James, that I just jumped on. That was a huge hit. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. And that's just out of reach. The Oilers take it along the wall. Here he is in close. From the back of the cage with the puck. Can't keep a hold of it. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. And now it's grabbed by Kapanen. Dumps it into the Ozone. Quick pass to Hyman. Here's a blast! And there's the horn bringing an end to period number two. Still 20 minutes more of action in the third. Stick around. Third period action. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is back down at ice level. Ray, 40 minutes played so far. What's been your assessment of this tilt? The Penguins continue to be close in this game, which is maybe a little bit of a miracle. They don't have very much in the way of shots on goal. And now he moves it to Hyman. Moves the puck. Dreisaitl's long been known as a goal scorer, not so much of a playmaker. Well, he flipped the script tonight. His ability to find the open man has been on display here. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Hangs onto the puck. Back to the point he goes. We got a whistle as the puck goes out of play. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Edmonton's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Couldn't connect on that pass. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Feeds the puck to Carter. Pittsburgh's ready to go on the attack. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Works it across to Ryan. Drives to the sweet spot. Oh, off the outside of the frame. 
The Oilers continue to lead, but they would have loved to have stretched it out after that one hits the post. He might have a step here. Oh, what a save! Dishes it to Fogel. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Penguins have it in the offensive end. The Oilers gain control of the puck. Picked up along the wall by Bouchard. Sends a pass over. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's up 2-1 and the crowd has been enjoying this one. The Penguins win the faceoff. Marino's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. And now it's over to Turris. Loses his balance on the play. It hasn't been boring. I mean, it's low scoring, but man, there's been a lot of chances at both ends of the ice. We've seen missed chances combined with great goaltending, and that gives you a low scoring game. Pass across to Simon. Moves it quickly over to Rust. Scores, and they get it back. Now back to level square. You want them to be as aggressive as possible. You've got the other team reeling a little bit. I think the goalie actually read this play quite well. He looks like he's in position. He's trying to keep up to the pass. But because that pass was perfect, the one-timer beats him clean. Past the midway mark of the frame. James and Ray with you tonight. We got a tie game. Edmonton's looking to break out of their own end. And that's knocked away. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Poked away and forces the turnover at center. Barry's going to play it against the half wall. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Matheson. Takes the feed. Stays with it. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Edmonton's grabbed a hold of the puck. Trying to gain a step. He's in. Stones him on the breakaway. He got all on that one. Taken along the wall by Ruedel. Slides the puck to Gensel. Puts it on net. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it. And it stays out of the net. Takes a shot. Great luck save. Smith's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Late goings of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Oilers win the draw. And just a good old-fashioned solid body check on the play. And that's intercepted by Dumoulin. Great reach with the stick in the neutral zone by Kleppbaum. The Oilers take it along the wall. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. And that's oh, trying to shake loose. Great back check on the play. Takes the feed from the goaltender. Oh, we'll get some tired defenders as icing is the call. This is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Oh, he digs in and wins the draw there. Now they can get out of the zone. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. Fogel's carrying it ahead. Here's a shot, and he makes the save. Sends the pass down low. Jari's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Taken by Bluger. The Oilers have it now. Angles it over to Hyman. Trying to engage a little physicality here. Phenomenal save with the glove to knock it away. 
He drops that shoulder and drives the net with such great speed. It's tough for the defenseman to deny him, but the goalie makes the save. And there's the buzzer bringing regulation time to an end. Still tied up. We've got overtime in moments. Fans, don't forget to find those draw boxes throughout the arena for our signed jersey, which we will give away tonight. Edmonton's going to have to finish up tonight's game one skater short. Their injured player will not return. Thanks very much for the update, Ray. Well, that certainly changes things now. Yes, it does. Overtime is underway here. Lugs the puck back into the neutral zone. They go on the attack through center. Slides the puck over. Off a stick. Gray heads up play to poke it away in the offensive end. Here's a race for the loose puck. They get it out of the defensive end. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Here's a shot. Just wide. Nice feed from the goaltender. And now he moves it quickly to Gensel. Can't get a hold of that pass. Edmonton's looking to break out. And that's knocked away by Barry. Centering pass. He scores! It is over! The Penguins are feeling much better about themselves as they deliver an OT. I thought they were starting to wear down, James, but they get the winner, and it's their points in the back pocket. For my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, my name is James Cebalski. Thanks so much for joining us. Good night.
Oh, there should be no shortage of tension on the ice tonight here as this rivalry is renewed. Welcome back to EA Sports. James Sabalski and Ray Ferrar with you. We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dot. The Bulls start with possession as we are now underway. Puck grab by Hedman. And that's intercepted in the defensive end. Puck picked up by Verhage. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Vasilevsky. And puts the body into it, a little bumper car hockey. Turn that chance aside. I think through traffic like that, you're just hoping the thing hits you. Puck scooped up by Palat. With possession along the wall. Keeps hold of the puck. The Panthers take it along the wing. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Handles the puck. And they'll go the other way with it. Oh, oh, the, the Lightning have the puck in their own zone. Sends it over to Sorelli. Nice zone entry from the middle. And that slides right out to center ice. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Picked up along the wall by McDonough. Ruta's taking it from his own end. The Panthers pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Takes a shot. Just wide. Takes the pass. And now it's grabbed by Pallor. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Ekblad. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Tippett's got a hold of the puck behind the net. And they keep the pressure on. Taken by Stamkos. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. Oh, he tried to put the puck around the defender there. Brings it off the pipe. Reinhardt's got to be thinking, what do I have to do to get a break? He's created chances, he's been in the right spot, but all he can do is hit the post. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes the puck behind the net. Simple stop by Vasilevsky. Tampa Bay's got a hold of the puck now. And they cough it up in the neutral zone. The Bulls have the puck now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Manages to hang on. Joseph's got it behind the net. Misses! He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Big time stop there. Get that slot running here. He makes the stop, and there's no rebound. Off in the corner it is. Coming to the slot, and he puts it over the net. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Florida's moving it into the offensive end. Gains control of the puck here at the line. Scooped up along the wall by Yolevi. And they won't connect on that one. Here they come on the attack. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Yolevi. That's blocked. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Drives to the paint. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Tampa Bay is going to play it from the corner. Picked off by Yolevi. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Tampa Bay's got control of the puck. Slides the pass over to Joseph. And that's broken up. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And he slides it quickly to point. And that's a great defensive it heads up to force the turnover. The Panthers take it along the wall. Turns it away. Now he looked up to the roof after that one. He thought he had room. The goaltender makes the stop. 
There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Opening face-off here in this second period is about set to go. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? I'd like to see somebody get a little aggressive here offensively. There's nothing going on in this scoreless game. Good use for the body on the play. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Here's a chance right in front. And that's blocked. Maintains possession. The Panthers gain possession. Moves it over to Barkov. And serves up a little knock on the play. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Florida's got a hold of the puck. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Still looking for our first goal. Sorelli's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Slides that one right across the blue line. Let's it go. Big time stop. Things start to get a little physical out there. Florida's got it in their own zone. Tried to heart. connect the pass, but it doesn't go. Moves it to Stamkos. Slides it across to Ruda. The Bolts looking against the half wall. Picked up along the boards by Ruda. Sends the pass over. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Puck grabbed by Ekblad. Aaron pass and they can't connect. Quick feed to Ruda. And reads the play perfectly and picks off the pass. The Lightning have gained possession. The Panthers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Takes the feed. The Panthers take possession in the defensive end. Makes his presence known on the ice. Oh, what a kick save. Tremendous athleticism on the play. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And that one's broken up. Florida's trying to make something happen in the offensive Whoa. zone. He did everything he could to stop that, but he gets beat anyway. Past the halfway mark of this period, Florida's up one zip. He got all of that hit. Come on. Along the half wall with the puck. And now he angles it across to Sergeyev. And that goes off a player. An easy save by Bobrovsky. Here's a short pass to Barkov. got the puck. Quick pass across to Kachuk. Florida's looking to break out of their own end. Quick pass to Barkov. Dished on over to Foot. Can't get it to go. Foot stick handling in his own zone. Well, they can try. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Moves it quickly over to Foot. Takes the bump and loses control of the puck. Moves it to Foot. Let's it go from the point. Grabbed along the board by Belmar. And that doesn't exactly go tape to tape. And now he tries to get it across to Verhage. Barkov's got it against the boards. Here's a chance. Turned aside with a glove by Vasilevsky. Quick feed to Kachuk. The Bulls take it along the wall. The Panthers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gaining steam here on the attack. Hornquist is looking to make something happen here in the corner. Goes right to the crease. Oh, what a paddle save on the play. He was telling me this morning he worked on this in practice this week, making sure the puck goes to the corner and doesn't stay in the net. Less than a minute to go here in the second. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 
The Panthers have taken a 1-0 lead. Florida's got it in the offensive zone. Puck picked up by Huberdeau. From the boards, he takes that pass. Here he is on the tip. Oh, off the post. Bennett's frustration has to be at an all-time high. He's hit the post a couple of times. Uncle, how about a bounce for me, he's thinking. Well, two periods down and one more still to come. Third period action right after we get a clean sheet of ice. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Bolts are behind in this game, James, after two periods. And really, for me, it's no surprise. They've turned the puck over constantly tonight. And now he moves it to Verhage. Back at the point, they set it up. themselves a big goal here to start this third really nice to get yourself a little bit more cushion to stretch it out a little bit you can see the finish line Runa's gonna play it against the half wall Puck scooped up by Palat and that one's broken up by a great defensive play takes a hit on the play tries to feed it over to Barkov here we go it's a two on one makes the glove stop and now it's grabbed by Barkov. Here's a shot! That is on the play! Vasilevsky's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Lots of time left in this period. The Panthers now lead by two. Taken by Eklat. Oh, that carries off the mask! And he shakes it off here after making the save. Looked like he didn't pick this puck up very early, and he reacted late, but he gets it right off the top of the mask. That one's going to sting. Puts it up front. There it is. He scores! All over the rebound, and he taps it in. Bang, bang. Shot off the goalie. The puck falls down, and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound, and he puts it in. Tampa Bay's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. Can't find his man. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. The Panthers gain possession along the wall. And that pass goes off a stick. Takes a shot. Oh, fantastic save by Vasilevsky. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Receives the pass. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Tampa Bay's got it in their own zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. From the point, they take control of it. Forces the turnover. Here's a shot. They score! We are tied! I like the way they've gone about this, James. They've kept working away, not taking too many chances. And their work has resulted in a tie game. This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. Tampa Bay's counterpunched back to even things up in the third. There were times it looked like they weren't going to get back to this point, but now you've made it a sprint to the finish. Florida's got the puck against the board. There's another for the hit parade. Tries to get the puck to foot. And look at this. We've got a two-on-one. Just slide to the net. Now a quick pass to Joseph. Gets down low and blocks the shot. The Bolts have it now. And now it's over to Maroon. Cuts to the paint. And we got a leader as he tucks it into the net. These teams are jammed together. That goal might open it up. good backhand shot here he got into the low slot and really tough for the goalie to read where that puck's going 
Tampa Bay's gone up by one. What's the strategy now, Ray? Nothing really changes except you are cognizant of the fact you have a one gold cushion. But you want to play off the ice. You want to be aggressive. Knocked away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. He was locked in there. This is when the coaches find out who's able to be trusted in a tight game. This one is not spread out yet, and this is going to go right down to the end of the wire. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick pass to Radish. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Denied by the puck stopper. Vasilevsky's got it, and he'll elect for the whistle. Jumped on it pretty quickly there, and like everything else tonight, he's really looked in control. He's had an excellent game. Past the midway mark in this period, the Bolts are hanging on to this one goal lead. They'd love to add another. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Here's a short pass to Verhage. And things start to ramp up a little bit now on the ice with that play. Gains the zone on the left wing. And that's poked away by Barkov. Comes up with the stop. Verhage's got the puck along the wing. Oh, he misfires on that. The Bulls get a hold of the puck. Nice pass. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Moves with the puck in the corner. And that's picked off. And the puck leaves the zone. For hagee has got it to the side. And he makes the easy save. Moves it quickly over to Declare. To the ice again. That's an important stop for the goalie. Not only does he make the save, but because he catches it, he kills the play. In the final moments of this period, the Bolts have a little breathing room here, but not much as they lead it 3-2. Puck grabbed by Chernak. Florida's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Puck picked up by Weger. And they'll go the other way with it. Moves it to Kalorn. Takes a shot. And a great save. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. Make a and the goaltender gets to the bench. They've got the extra attacker out. Whistle blows, stopping the play. As good as these penalty killers are, this game isn't over yet. Just one goal separating the teams. The Panthers send out their man advantage unit at a most critical time of the game. Great pressure on the offensive end by Thornton. Moved in front, and they can't connect. Quick feed to Thornton. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Vasilevsky's probably the one reason that this game is the way it is. His save percentage has been outstanding. Thornton's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. Maroons won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Here's a chance right out in front. Textbook stop by Vasilevsky. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. The net is empty. A big draw here looming inside the offensive end. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. And makes the routine save. The net is empty, the extra attacker's out, and a huge face-off looming. And we are all over with this one. The Bolts dominated puck possession tonight, and it started right at the dots, Ray. Coaches always talk about details. This is the first detail of any play. It's winning the draw. They won many over the course of the night. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.